Let's I'm going to use this one. Eh? Jesus comes with you. Wild Pathfinder Day. Bishop said we need to add vibes. Can you, let's do a little competition. Pathfinders, adventurers, and parents. So I'm going to say for Pathfinders, my fellows. Jesus comes with you. We are little, so can we give? Jesus comes with you. 80. Adventurers, Jesus comes with you. Jesus comes with you. 100. Parents, Jesus comes with you. You and your deep voices. 70. Yes. Shalom to you all. I'm excited to take you on this segment as we continue to explore the theme, Jesus Camps With You. I will never leave you nor forsake you. That is our Bible verse from Hebrews chapter 13, verse 5. Join me as we uncover the meaning behind these words. Let's pray. Heavenly Father in heaven, we thank you for today. I ask for the Holy Spirit to guide, to guide me and I reveal to your people the true meaning of Jesus comes with you. Amen. What does it mean to camp with Jesus? Camping with Jesus means that he is an infinite compa companion. Matthew chapter 28 verse 20 says, And behold, I am with you always to the end of age. Jesus is the constant friend, storyteller, and adventure companion. Jesus is one friend that sticks with you when you are in your troubles and when you're in camp and you're lost in a forest. He will stick by you as a constant friend. Jesus, the storyteller. Imagine camping with Jesus, sharing stories of love, courage, and hope by the celestial campfire. His stories invite us to be a part of his internal story. The most interesting thing about camping is the campfire that comes with stories. Jesus shared parables of the rich fool and the good Samaritans with those who camped with him. Camping with Jesus is interesting because he is a fun playmate. Fun moments with Jesus are filled with joy and laughter as Jesus races across the sky full of joy. Jesus, the exploration buddy. Exploring creation hand in hand with Jesus, discovering his wonders, Jesus guides us through the celestial forest and the wilderness. I want to tell you a story of how Jesus was my exploration buddy. Two weeks ago, I and my family went on our camp at Lake Mburo National Park. And one of the activities there was game drive. And during that game drive, we went for a horse ride. The number one rule at camp is time management. So by seven, we were out of our campsite. When we reached the stables, they gave me one of the youngest horses who was around 15, 14 years of age. Then I saw them switching horses because the instructor looked at me and the horse and said, this horse might be too tall for this young girl. So they gave me one of the oldest horses. Let's say the grandfather of all horses at the start. His name was Choo Choo. So, we'll call him Musei Chuchu. I and Musei Chuchu went on our walk through the forest, and I was on him. Me and Musei Chuchu felt like we were friends. We were going on rides. We were enjoying as we were coming back to the stables. Musei Chuchu increased his speed. I said, Ho, stop. 
The instructor said, no, you don't say ho, stop, you say ho. But my ho to that horse was saying, increase your speed. I felt like Musei Chuchu was taking me 70 kilometers per hour. He took me through bushes while I got scratches on my face. But he took me through shrubs. But my teacher in the audience was holding his head and saying, is this girl going to land on a rock? Will we see this girl again? Is she going to go into the wilderness? But Musei Chuchu had calmed down just for a bit. For a bit. So then I saw a very soft landing. And I said, Talia, if you want to end this race, you jump off. <laughs> so I got off the horse without any broken bones, just a few scratches on my face. My story shows how Jesus was ex my story shows how Jesus explores with us. He was my exploration buddy when I was on a speeding horse, but he calmed it down. Jesus, the listening friend. My, when I got off the horse, my mom, others were on the head, others did not mind to look, but my mom, one, if you want to know my mom, she's very calm with things. Very calm. So I went to my mom. Mom, you looked unconcerned. You didn't even look like you cared. But she said, my daughter, I had no control over that horse. I could not go in front of it and say, horse, stop. I could not run over it. So she whispered to God and said, God, this horse is your creation. Talia is your creation. Calm down this horse. But when, if, you tell, if you recall, when I went through the shrubs, that moment when I told you I, went, I jumped off the horse, once my mom had finished the prayer like this, the horse calmed down. <laughs> Jesus is the best confidant. Imagine sitting next to him and telling him all your deepest fears, my deepest fear was not seeing my family members again. My deepest fear was landing on a rock. You can tell Jesus your plans and joys. Jesus listens to every word with love and understanding. Jesus, the, stone, the song master. What is camping without singing? Jesus plays celestial melodies of love around the campfire. His songs fill the camp with celestial harmonies. Jesus' celestial camp. In, the, in life, there are camps where we do not belong. You try to fit in a community where you are not welcomed. Like how you go to a workplace and everyone just passes by like, like this. In school, like me, on my first day of school, Everyone, you're standing there, hello, hello, and you're like, then people are looking at you like, <laughs> they don't know you. But in Jesus' ca his camp, everyone knows you. Amen, church? <laughs> However, there is joy in belonging to Jesus' camp where everyone is welcomed. Jesus has a reserved spot for each one of us. Why does Jesus want to camp with you? Jesus knows and loves every part of us. Jesus wants to spend time with us and share in our joys and struggles. But still, why does Jesus want to camp with you? Jesus wants to dine with you. Imagine a special dinner with Jesus, eating your special dish. What would it be like to see Jesus pick his favorite meal as you talk and express yourself? If Jesus comes at your table, what will you serve him? Will you serve him chicken? Will you serve him chips? Will you serve him posho or beans? What will you serve him? He is our companion at our table. Jesus, our unbreakable protector. If you recall my, sto my story with the speeding horse, 
It felt like I was landing on a soft mattress. It was like a trampoline. But who put a shield there for me to land? It was Jesus as our unbreak as my unbreakable protector. So why can't he be yours? Jesus is our protector in life storms. Jesus is a divine shield that surrounds us. Jesus, the guardian of our path. Jesus lights our way and ensures we are on the right path. You are going for camping. You pack a torch to help you light up your path. And Jesus lights our campsite and guides our path. Jesus is our divine protection tent. The first thing you set up when you arrive at a camping site is a tent. Therefore, Jesus provides a divine protection tent, a shelter that is full of love and peace. Shielding us from harm. Have you seen where lions roam during the night? Imagine if there was no tent and campfire. Would you be eaten alive? Would you even be here? No. But guess what? When you camp with Jesus and Jesus comes with you, you are under the divine love and protection of Jesus as your tent. Amen. As we close this message today, remember that Jesus is a constant companion who comes with you in every season of life. He is the one who pitches his tent beside yours. He walks with you through the valleys and celebrates with you on the mountain tops. So no, more, no matter what you are facing today, know that Jesus is camping with you. He is your protection, your guide, and your friend. When the journey gets tough and the road ahead, ahead seems uncertain, just look around and remember that he is right there with you. May his presence be your comfort, your strength, and your joy now and forevermore. Amen. Camping with Jesus means having a closer walk. May you enjoy this song.
wrote that lyric, so I started humming. People make mistakes, okay? I'd like to call Elder. Z Ziri. Ziri. 